It has long been a tradition at colleges and universities that a senior speak on behalf of the graduating class. Representing the class of 2016 is Miguel Pergamon. Originally from Spain, he came to North Central from El Salvador, where his family now live, and his parents are here with us today. Miguel earned a triple major in economics, math, and finance, and his research in Brazil on the economics of World Cup soccer provided the basis for his honors thesis. Now he's headed to the University of Kentucky for a doctorate in economics so he can pursue a career in international economics. I'm pleased to present Miguel Pergamon. Class of 2016, congratulations. Today, I'm here to celebrate with all of you and talk about construction. And so we must take some precaution. <laughs> and no, I'm not here to advertise for an architecture program, although that would be fun. Can you imagine? We could build a science center as a class project. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm here today to talk about my personal insight on a different type of structures. A few weeks ago, I was blessed with an internship that took me to New York, where I was able to sit down for a speech at the United Nations by a spiritual leader called Sant Rajinder Singhji Maharaj, where he addressed members of the General Assembly and different committees with the message that we should be building bridges and breaking walls. As I sat in the heart of New York City, I started considering all the types of bridges and walls, both physical and metaphorical, that I've encountered throughout my life. As I did some research, I realized that just in the island of Manhattan, there are about nine bridges and 20 tunnels connecting it to the rest of New York. The net result of this is astonishing. Just how many languages do you think are spoken in the island of Manhattan in this day and age? Maybe 50 or 100? There are actually 800 languages being spoken in the island, along with hosting the world's financial hub, Wall Street, and the headquarters of the United Nations. So what would have happened if a large wall had enclosed the island? Some of the most important decisions regarding peacemaking and financial decisions are made in America's own backyard. So as I pondered more on this matter, I examined the different kinds of bridges and walls that have been built and demolished throughout the past four years. In my case, I encountered my first wall when I moved here in 2012 from San Salvador. I encountered the wall of culture shock which many of you who studied abroad are probably very familiar with. Let me share a very interesting anecdote. In the Hispanic culture, it is very customary to meet someone with a big hug. But in the US, one gives a handshake. That's a tradition, and that's considered a warm welcome. Well, on my welcome week, I hit the culture shock wall when I greeted an NCC staff member with a big hug. And actually, she was not expecting it, so she was caught off guard. But luckily for me, my FYM, my first year mentor, came in my defense and explained, well, he's an international student. So this small incident made me realize that this is part of the experience, and it's necessary in order to under expand our understanding of different cultures. On this high regard, I would like to thank all of you professors sitting here for helping us break many walls on the way here. We have hit the walls of complacency, procrastination, and mathematics many times. <laughs> but your doors were always open, and it was through your continued support and guidance that we were actually able to break through all these obstacles. In fact, if you look at our new science center being built in the north of campus, it has a very open environment where there are more windows than walls. So professors, thank you very much. Um, You've shared your piece of wisdom, and you've also learned from breaking your own individual walls. Today, we finished building the bridge of our undergraduate career, and it has been due to the support of each and every one of you sitting here as we place this last stone. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts 
for all of your unconditional support. Yet most of us have built individual bridges throughout our time here at North Central. Some will continue to be strengthened and enlarged throughout the rest of our lives. During our time at North Central, we've constantly been encouraged to celebrate our diversity and excel in every facet of our liberal arts education. In my case, I was given the tools to build cultural bridges to better understand the people of Brazil, the people of Uzbekistan, and the people of Egypt. On another occasion, I was able to build the entrepreneurial bridge with my dear friend and brother Enrique, where we started our first startup company called the Crowdfunding Blog. But the most important bridge we've built thus far is the build of friendship. It's a bridge that has endured the storms brought by finals and stress, and without which I could not be standing here today. So as you can see from this lens, it becomes incredible to see how we've been able to build bridges by celebrating diversity, promoting understanding, and embarking on many new adventures. As we move forward, I would like to wish each and every one of you here the best of luck as you continue to build and strengthen your bridges until the end of your journeys. Whether it is going to law school or becoming an activist, keep, bridg keep bridging the gap of inequality in the world. Or if you're among those who are building the bridge of matrimony, may you build a strong bond that stands the test of time. Other members of our class may be on their way to be the next actuary superstars or even acting superheroes. Always remember that the bridge that got you there was built through camaraderie and support. And for those who may be teaching at a different place, like Morton East High School or Elon University next year, for all your support and friendship, I am ever grateful. You have truly been an inspiration to me. For everyone who's teaching someone else, whether education was your major or not, always keep your doors open as we empower future generations break through their own walls. We will definitely be watching closely as you build your future bridges. Thank you, thank you for the friendship, for the support and humor that we've shared through this journey. And before I finish, I'd just like to say some words for my mom and dad, who crossed many bridges to get here today and are following this speech with subtitles. Hace un año, cuando todo se veía muy difícil, tuve un sueño. Soñé que me encontraba en la puerta del cielo y toqué la puerta. Dije, Señor, necesito toda la ayuda posible. El Señor amorosamente me contestó, Hijo mío, toda la ayuda que necesitas está ahí abajo con tu mamá y tu papá. Ahí está, Mare, muchas gracias por todo su apoyo incondicional, por tantas horas en Skype y por todo lo que nos queda por celebrar. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. And now, we can say that the bridge at North Central College is finished. Well, sort of. The world is hungry for passionate and well-rounded individuals. So my dear Cardinals, from today onward, let's keep fulfilling our purpose. Let's build bridges and break walls. Thank you very much and congratulations.